Hey everyone, this is Ross and today I just want to talk a bit about algae, hair algae, floating algae and ways that you can prevent it in an aquarium. So first off, algae is always present in the water column. Um, even though you can't notice it in my tank, it is there but in very small amounts. In such small amounts that you can't actually see it. But all it takes is too much bright light and excess nutrients and that will make it multiply really quick and that will create an algae bloom. Algae blooms are very thick clouds of algae. They often look lime green to dark green and sometimes you won't be able to see into the tank at all. That's in a very severe case though. And um, algae blooms actually use up oxygen. Algae uses oxygen to live unlike plants that use CO2. Um, yeah, so algae uses oxygen, so it depletes the levels of oxygen in your tank and your fish might actually die. But as I said, that's in very um, extreme cases. Um, so ways that you can prevent algae and stop it from forming in your tank altogether is to just um, plant your tank very heavily. If you're doing a dirty tank, it's going to release a lot of excess nutrients that will float around in the water column and be very inviting for algae. Uh, if you want to lower those nutrients, you could do regular water changes or you could plant it like crazy, which is what I've done. Each one of these plants is taking in some nutrients as we speak. Um, it might not be a lot, but it's, it is constantly taking in nutrients and the plants are using those nutrients to grow and thrive and it's kind of starving the algae and outcompeting the algae for nutrients. So. A good way to combat algae is to just plant your tank like crazy um, or do regular water changes to keep um, nutrient levels down. Um, another way to prevent algae is to just limit the amount of light you give your tank. I mean some people have T5s um, give the tank 4-5 to five hours of light a day which is a very sensible thing to do because more than 5 hours will probably be too much for your plants and it's just going to encourage algae growth so um, yeah you've got to limit the amount of light your tank gets if you've got low powered LEDs like what I've got or T8s or just regular fluorescent bulbs then you can give your tank about 8 hours no more uh, more than 8 hours is going to be very very encouraging for algae and less than 8 hours isn't very good for your tank so you've got to kind of ration the amount of light you give your tank Another thing that you can do to combat algae is give your tank some water flow so that kind of keeps the water moving. If the water was stagnant it would grow a lot faster. If your tank's in the window don't have the blinds open too much because sunlight is way, is probably one of the most powerful lights because um, it's got all those rays in there, it's got infrared, it's got visible light, it's got, it's got pretty much everything in there so yeah, you want to limit the amount of sunlight your tank gets if it's in the window. I personally only keep my blinds open for two to two to three hours. I kind of I kind of treat them like they were T5s, just a bit stronger. So um, that's the reason why all my plants look so good because even though they're under really low LED lights, they're mainly for the night time and about um, 7 p.m. and stuff. That's why I mainly put them on. I put them on in the morning. Till about dinner time and then I kind of turn them on about 5 to 7 p.m. and I, I let the sunlight kind of fuel the tank in midday um, so yeah that's the reason why, why my plants look so good but if I was to leave these blinds open all day then the tank would probably be green that's the problem I had with a fighting fish tank um, is because it was just getting too much direct sunlight and it developed an algae bloom and I couldn't really do anything about it. In the end what I had to do is get a piece of paper and kind of block the sunlight getting wet. So obviously that tank's problem was too much light. Um, so I keep the nutrients down in this tank by having lots of plants and doing regular water changes. And I keep the light down in this tank just by limiting the amount it gets and um, closing the blinds for part of the day. Um, I also have good water flow, so it isn't stagnant. Um, also, 
if you develop an algae on your plants like this Anubius right here, um, Anubius is so slow growing that algae will actually outcompete it and it'll have a chance to grow on it. And Anubius is one of those plants that will pretty much always get algae on it and you're going to have to take it out every few weeks to wash it. But if you don't want to wash it every few weeks, what you can do is just get some Amano Shrimp. Amano Shrimp are really good algae eaters and that's all I do all day. As you can see, there's one on there right now eating the algae of it. And if you'll notice on this Anubis, there's very few algae patches. And that's just because of the shrimp. I've done a video on it, it's called Clean Up Crew. It talks about uh, Cory Cats, Amano Shrimp, different things like that. And just how to clean the aquarium. So, um, yeah, algae will outcompete some plants. And obviously you can prevent that by having fast growing plants in your tank. Like um, Ludwigia, it's a very fast grower and it takes up a lot of nutrients. But algae is pretty much always going to grow on slow plants like Anubius. So it is good to have a, a clean up crew in your aquarium. I'll just clean those plants regularly to stop algae build up. Uh, Java fern is a medium grower plant, so it's not too fast. Algae will battle with that, there'll be algae patches on it, but at the minute there's no algae on this Java fern because I've got a man of shrimp and they are great algae cleaners. Um, for the glass you can get like a pleco, different types of things, snails. But what I just do, I've got this algae, this algae scraper right here, there's a shrimp on it at the minute, which is quite funny. Um, but what I do, I just use that algae scraper every two or three days um, before the algae has a chance to build up because if you leave the glass for two or three weeks then it's going to be covered in algae and it's going to be a lot harder to get off so if you do it every two to three days before it actually has a chance to get a foothold it'll be very easy to scrape off and there's actually a film that develops before algae grows on your glass and if you remove that film then it won't give it a chance to grow so it's best prevention is better than cure and if you prevent algae it's much better than using treatments to get rid of it so just keep on top of tank maintenance clean your plants or get some type of shrimp what I must say though is do not rely on shrimp don't rely on your cleaner crew to do all the work for you you've still got to um, put all the maintenance in the tank, you've still got to clean the glass, you've still got to limit the amount of light the tank gets so really it's your responsibility and there's no excuse for algae really if you're limiting the amount of light your tank gets and the nutrients then you shouldn't have algae at all right so that's all I really want to say about algae growth um, if you like this vid then please give, the com give it a comment like it and subscribe if you haven't already done so I want to say a big thank you to my subscribers because I'm close to 200 subscribers now so I'm really happy about that. I might not sound happy but I actually am. So thanks for that. It's been great. I've enjoyed making videos. Um, I must say over the next few days I'm not going to be making videos because I'm going down to London um, just for a look around see what's there. And I'm heading off to London tomorrow, Thursday. I'll be back Sunday night, so I'll probably be making videos again Monday. So yeah, there'll probably be a video on Monday. And um, I'll look out for fish tanks in London, and I'll try and make a video of one if I see one, and I'll put it on here. Um, so yeah, you won't see any of my videos until Monday. Sorry about that, guys. Um, a quick shout out to Nick's Fish Tanks One. He suggested that I get some crips, which I'm gonna get um, probably next week. I'll get some crips for this tank. I was thinking crip went I over in that corner there, or behind the Anubis, some type of crypt. Uh, I love crips. I haven't had them before, but they look very nice. So yeah, I'll be getting some of those. And um, he suggested I get a red tiger lotus. I'm not going to get a red tiger lotus because they do look really nice but you've got to constantly trim them to keep them low and the roots grow kind of big so if I ever did want to pull it out it'd make like a, a plume of dirt so yeah I don't really want to do that so if you want to visit his channel Nick's Fish Tanks 1 just click right there I'm kind of running out of time I've, I'm only allowed 10 minutes so yeah that's it 
see you later bye